Hey guys, my name is Maisha and I'm a beauty director here at Sephora. And it's Jeffrey here. I'm also a beauty director and summer is here. Summer is here. We're in LA, but it doesn't matter where you are. Yeah. Uh, you need to protect yourself with SPF. The sun is out in full force. And she ain't your friend. No. <laughs> no. And I feel like now more than ever, sunscreen is really fun. And it's very easy to incorporate into your routine. It's not just like one big tube of sunscreen that you kind of put from head to toe. Uh, mm -hmm. There's many different ways to put sunscreen on. There's many different places that people don't think about uh, mm -hmm. as far as putting sunscreen on. And also a lot of your sort of skincare woes and makeup woes can be solved by protecting yourself with sunscreen. Yeah, with a lot of these formulas, you can actually take care of two functions at the same time, like, mm -hmm. you know, hydrating your lip while getting SPF. I mean, there's easy ways to incorporate SPF into your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And also, we do a lot of videos about, like, retinols and, like, certain skincare acids and things like that, and you have to wear sunscreen when you're doing anything to your skin that's sort of advanced and corrective and things like that. So these are just some fun ways to sort of amp up what you're already doing and protect yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a new SPF or you're wanting to try, you know, some new ways to wear it, then this video is for you. So we're gonna be talking about sunscreens for different parts of the face. Um, and I think sometimes you think of just putting it on your face and calling it a day using a general sunscreen, but there's many little things that you don't think about that uh, still require some protection. So uh, I would say for the face, one of my favorites, one of my boyfriend's favorites actually, yeah. I, I, I like physically took this from his desk today. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I love uh, that. Get it, Jason. <laughs> uh, so this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, and this is a broad spot from SPF 40 and what's really nice about it um, if you already wear a uh, makeup primer it's very similar in texture mm -hmm. to a traditional makeup primer uh, so it's a very familiar texture to you and you'd use it in the exact same order and situation that you would a makeup primer but what's really nice is as I said my boyfriend uses it so it's very seamless very lightweight this is from the guy that like doesn't even like washing his face with what he's supposed to like he's very low maintenance um, <laughs> but what's really nice is he works outside all day he's very fair skinned he can wear this he can reapply very easily he actually pairs it with the super goop spray too mm -hmm. i'm like you don't need the fancy spray like you don't need to take my fancy sprays uh mm -hmm. but this is just nice because it's seamless it's very easy it works like a makeup primer but it's great for guys too um mm -hmm. it's just been a really great sort of multitasker and since it's completely translucent like you can use it on any skin tone mm -hmm. truly and then i do feel like it kind of has a tendency to sort of blur imperfections and give yes. you that smoothing effect mm -hmm. which is really really nice so mm -hmm. that's just an added benefit but honestly super goop is really great about creating in a innovative SPF formulas mm -hmm. in Shout general. Shout out to Holly, the founder. Yeah, for I sure. I love her because she's very passionate about making the textures really uh, easy inviting. to wear and fun to wear. Yeah, uh, inviting. So that you're encouraged to wear sunscreen. Her mousse sunscreen is very sensorial for that reason that you're going to want to put your sunscreen mm -hmm. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I would definitely say that they're an authority in this category, mm -hmm. so it's apt that we started with them and kind of broke them out of the gate first. Mm -hmm. Love that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> okay, now the next SPF that we have is really targeted for a specific specific concern. It's mm -hmm. really great for mattifying. Mm -hmm. So for those of you out there that are ultra oily or that are super concerned with being really sweaty during the summer yes. or their SPF coming off, then this product is for you. This is the Ren Clean Skincare Clean Screen Mattifying Face Sunscreen SPF 30. Now this is a really great product to toss in your bag for summer because honestly, it's mm -hmm. really going to help to absorb oil. And I'm kind of feeling like right off the bat that I'm this gonna, is... I'm going to steal some from you. Yeah, you should definitely try it. Um, I'm feeling right off the bat that this is going to be an amazing primer for those of you out there that are super duper oily or have major shine breakthrough during the summer for your makeup. Like, I mean, you put your, it doesn't matter what primer you wear, mm -hmm. it, like you still get that breakthrough. This SPF is really going to help to absorb that oil. I feel yeah, it I feel right like off the bat. I feel like I would put bat. this on my T-zone because sometimes in the summer I just wear no makeup and just kind of live in my truth as far as being oily with no right. complexion on. But I feel like this would be really great for those areas where I wanted to be super mattified. I feel like my mineral sunscreens tend to be really yeah. mattifying just because the nature of the minerals. Mm -hmm. um, so this is really nice. Yeah, and overall it does have a little bit of a brightening effect to the skin. Like but it's not like, a cast. No, it's like, it, a gl like a glow, like yeah. a radiant. So if you have deeper skin and you see that blue factor, it's kind of like almost like putting a filter on you. A lot of times when you see like vanity lights mm -hmm. uh, and ring lights, they have a blue sort of tint to it because it's just like 
nice on the skin and kind of like just makes your coloring look really nice. But as soon as I rubbed it in, that sort of blue tint went away. Completely disappears mm -hmm. for sure. And then again, because it's Ren um, Clean Skincare, you, it's in the clean category, which is awesome. For those of you out there that are looking for a really clean option, then this is one to grab for mm -hmm. sure. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to incorporate SPF into your normal routine, but you kind of do it in a sideways way. Like you use <laughs> sort of like multitasking products. Yeah. Like some people like to find their SPF in their, their foundation. Mm -hmm. Other people like it in their primer. So this category is going to be all about multitaskers. Now, first up from Dr. Murad, we have the Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA++++. Now, this is a product that we've definitely talked about on the channel before, and it's a tried and true staple mm -hmm. in my personal cabinet. I mm -hmm. love this guy um, because it's really lightweight in texture. You can even see that this one's a multitasker because mm -hmm. it says right here on the <laughs> bottle. I like when it says right there. <laughs> I know. This one blurs, primes, and protects. So it's going to help to minimize any surface texture and kind of the appearance of pores and make them look a little bit smoother. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to prime the skin, help your makeup to last a lot longer, increase durability and longevity. And then it's going to protect the skin with the SPF 30 and PA++++. Mm -hmm. Now the PA, that's going to be like the European standard. So you're getting both scales on the package, which is really cool. Just more information for you to arm yourself with when you're looking for the right SPF. Mm -hmm. When we were introduced to this product, we actually had a training with uh, Dr. Murad himself. And they did this really cool thing where they showed us before and afters of our skin with the primer and without it. And the redness was, I didn't even know mm -hmm. I had redness. Like I'm brown. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know I had redness and like the texture of my skin, the little fine lines and things like that compared. And it was like a 4K camera. Wow. It was yeah. so smooth, so beautiful. Um, again, another really great one, kind of similar to the Super Goop one. Men really love it because they can't feel it on the skin and just kind of smooths them overall. But mm -hmm. if you're someone that doesn't like to wear makeup especially too this is something really great for you to do you can see it's like just a really soft mattifying effect mm -hmm. again any surface texture somebody who's also concerned with maybe like micro fine lines this is going to help yes. to smooth the appearance of those yeah. too so yeah. this is a really really awesome spf i love this product i've used it myself and i think it works great under makeup for me too so. i can't keep it around because everyone i know loves it and they just want to take <laughs> it from me i have to hide it and the package <laughs> looks really cool it's like yeah. super future forward i yes. love it with the little pumps <laughs> So our second multitasker for this category uh, is actually like this is like as soon as you mention this product, especially with Sephora People beauty advisors, go crazy. beauty advisors, <laughs> they go crazy. Like it was People to the point where product. I had to try it, like because everyone kept recommending it to me yeah. like years ago. Mm -hmm. So this is the it cosmetics. This is the CC cream with SPF 50. Uh, mm -hmm. So they actually this is the uh, I would say the satin texture. They have a matte as well as a radiant texture as well. There's two different colors, so you can choose which texture or which formula you would really like. I wear all three, just depending mm -hmm. on the day. Or you honestly. can even kind of, I like to do like targeted application yeah. like that because sometimes my skin can be kind of combo. True, true, true. So I'll take my shade across all three and sort of like mm -hmm. map with the product. <laughs> it's kind it's, of fun. It's a full coverage product, which yeah. is really great. So you can really tailor it to what you want to do. And I know a lot of you in the comment sections are always like, okay, I have seven specifications and I need this one product to do all of those things. I'm like, girl. You might need to cocktail. You might need to use different things on different areas of the face, but I feel like this kind of gives me like a really beautiful, nice base all over. And I have actually used the radiant one all over and just use the mattifying one in the T-zone. Because yes. I am oily, but I love radiance. Uh, so you can definitely do that. Yeah, like um, spot. It's pretty full coverage, Target, I would okay. say. So you can even mix it down or maybe put a little extra moisturizer on and use that as a buffer. And then those days, if I'm going to go outside, that like one time a year I go outside uh, and I'm going to have, I want that full glam but I still want to be full coverage I still want my SPF 50 I'll put mm -hmm. this on and it's like my like super super long days love yes so I feel like this list would not be complete without another pick from Super Goop. Uh, they're kind of my favorite go-tos for SPF. They just do it so, so well. And this one, honestly, for me, is going to win Innovation Award for the year. Like, true, I've true, been true. wanting to see this product, like something like yeah. this, for so long. This is an industry first that we yeah. kind of like didn't really know we needed necessarily. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Super Goop Shimmer Shade Illuminating Cream Eyeshadows, and they have SPF 30, and they're gorgeous. Cool. So what they are is basically a cream eyeshadow that has SPF 30. A lot of times, you don't really think about your eye area when it comes to sunscreens. Right. Some sunscreens work really well on your face, but maybe they're a little too strong, maybe scent-wise or formula-wise, to put really close to the eye, really close to the lash line. So if you don't have an eye cream that has SPF in it, you're not quite sure what to do. And it's actually one of the most sensitive areas on the face and one of the thinnest 
types of skin on your face too, so you need that SPF on there. Um, yeah, I mean, crepiness is a concern for so yes. many people, and mm -hmm. I definitely think like using something like this is gonna stop that in its tracks and mm -hmm. prevent it from going any further, which is what we want for yeah. sure. I heard about this. Um, Holly, founder of Supergoop, told me about it, and I was like, oh, that sounds so cool, but when I first touched them, I was like, it's very functional, but the colors are just spot on. It's these really beautiful three shades that are just kind of like different shades of neutral. Yeah. Um, the deepest mm -hmm. shade right here, um, Sunset, which is really beautiful, would be a very pretty smoky eye on a fair skin. But on deep skin, it's like that perfect nothing shade. It just looks like beautiful, luminized skin, which I really, really like. And again, like the texture, it's like this bouncy, almost whip souffle vibe. It's very whipped. It's like inviting. Like again, everything that she makes makes you want to to apply it. Like yeah. it's really fun to like yeah. even she, touch. Yeah, she's told me that the reason she makes her products so fun and um, exciting to use is because most people don't put on enough sunscreen. Right. So she makes it fun to use, especially that mousse. And you squirt it out, you kind of squirt too much out. But in reality, the too much you think is probably the right amount of sunscreen you should be using. Uh, so I really like that about these. But these are absolutely gorgeous. You can wear these underneath your regular shadow if you want. You can wear them by themselves. They have enough coverage to work on their own. They mm -hmm. blend really, really seamlessly. I like using two together. Which two was I playing with? I think Golden Hour. Well, it's kind of nice for like no makeup days, you know? They're, like They're also kind of dual chrome, which, yeah. which is like unexpected because the brown has like almost the brown a little bit of everything. like warm like, violet That is it. like the perfect, for me, that's gonna be like the perfect like spongy smoky eye. Mm -hmm. I'm totally gonna use that as a base and then pop a little shadow on top of that. So, I mean like so, pretty. so beautiful, I'm so obsessed. It's always a treat when things that are functional and good for you are artistically really beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a total package. Yeah, a really great gradation. The pink is kind of like a champagne. Yeah. Champagne pink, the lightest one, this one, um, is a gold with a little bit of a warm peachy shade to it and that brown I, I don't know if it's just my skin, but I see almost like a warm violet with yeah, the brown. It's so it's really, pretty. Really that nice. brown is is epic. I mm -hmm. really love it This is definitely one of those products out there that I think you didn't know that you needed for sure So definitely check but it you out. It. You definitely need it. <laughs> yeah, you need these now last up We have another area of the face that's often forgotten But mm -hmm. really important to take care of and that's the lip area mm -hmm. It's definitely important for you to incorporate an SP into the lip area because a lot of people suffer from like hyperpigmentation around the lip mm -hmm. or you know they have discoloration in between the different tones of the lip and this will again prevent that from happening stop mm -hmm. that from happening right so to protect and hydrate the lip area we have the fresh sugar lip treatment sunscreen SPF 15 now this is a cult classic, classic. product I mean like people this one shop is the only one my mom will like... ever ever wear really? <laughs> she's like only the neutrals only the, only the, only the neutrals yeah. but I think that that's why people actually like them so much is is it's treatment color and hydration all in and one fashion, product because they're pretty they're yeah. very pretty so like they're a luxury to have in your purse they're so beautiful there's different yeah, shades yeah they do look really nice mm -hmm. and so um actually i'm gonna I pop a little bit of honey on but i do feel like they're like really sheer so like when you apply them you don't get a ton of color so i think that they're nice for like that tinted moisturizer kind of vibe like you don't really want a lot of lippy on mm -hmm. like i'm just gonna go to the grocery store and it's gonna protect and hydrate now it's infused with a lot of really good for you ingredients like brown sugar is the key and that's a natural humectant so it pulls moisture from the air and puts it in the lip so you're boosting hydration in the lip then you have a lot of really good for you oils like metafoam seed oil black currant um, even grapeseed oil which mm -hmm. are really great antioxidant protection so you're getting that spf and you're getting protection from free radical damage at the same time mm -hmm. love this i'm gonna get put a little bit of honey on because this is like i'm getting ready for i'm back from hawaii and like you know, mm. feeling my Honolulu vibes. Yeah, he's he's uh, going to the airport right after this, <gasps> quite jealous. Um, but also a lot of you guys are always asking like, what nude lip to wear? I can't find a nude lip. And a lot of times I feel like it's a, it's a coverage problem. Like you're putting on a very full coverage nude lip that it's kind of like taking all your natural features away. Something like this, like either petal or honey, it's a great nude lip if you want it to be a little amped up. Pair it with a lip liner if you want it to look finished. But a nude lip is kind of like your lip but better. And it preferably should be kind of sheer like I have on the Bobbi Brown crush lip color. Mm -hmm. And it's sheer, but it's like the perfect nude lip color. And a couple caveats with this, I will say that the texture is really, really soft. Yes. So you don't need to roll the stick up very far. Like, you know, sometimes 
sometimes your lip balm can be kind of hard. Mm -hmm. This just glides on really easy. And since it does have a lot of amazing butters, you want to keep it not necessarily in your pocket. Keep it in your bag. Definitely keep it out of your car. In a nice cool spot. In yeah. a nice cool spot because it's uh, you want to make sure that you're keeping your and protecting your investment, right? Mm -hmm. I actually don't even roll it up anymore. I just kind of keep it down in the inside and sort of pat it. Pat it. Mm -hmm. You're fancy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. I just want you to take care of yourself. Put some sunscreen on. Protect your neck. Your future, your, yeah, your future self will thank you. Um, SPF is very easy to incorporate into your routine now because there's so many different formulas and so many different um, steps that you can put it on and you could touch up with it, you could put it on the beginning. Uh, so I feel like there's really no excuse to not not like sunscreen anymore. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think that Sephora has become a destination mm -hmm. for a lot of these fun formulas. Like you can definitely come in store and have a full conversation and a fun conversation mm -hmm. with, your, with your consultant about choosing the right SPF for you, how to incorporate that into your routine and just make it a habit. You yes. know what I mean? That's really the biggest piece of it like maybe you put it next to your toothbrush in the morning and you pop it on before you leave or maybe you keep it in your bag and just in case you forget as you're walking out of the door it's just something that you should really keep into your your daily lifestyle for sure mm -hmm. so if you have any questions about any of the products that we talked about in this video be sure to shout it out in the comment section below um, or if you have a favorite SPF that you just want to yes. show some love and share why you love it with your fellow um, commenters out there go ahead and do that yeah and as always please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any content um, uh, and you kind of stay up on your beauty news, so mm -hmm. to speak. Uh, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.